What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're talking about some pretty big news coming out of the LEC. This isn't like breaking news or anything like that. The story is actually from last week, um, but I just have so many different videos, so many different topics to cover and all that. And uh, you know, you, you just can't get to everything right when it happens. Some of the stuff I, I think is more important to happen. Um, when it happens, it's more important to talk about right away. Some of the stuff kind of gets put on the back burner, but I still have things that I, I want to talk about, give my opinions about. And uh, Sometimes stories just fly under the radar and I want to make sure you guys hear about and know everything because that's what I like doing on this channel is keeping everybody up to date, but also having discussions, sharing my thoughts and opinions, hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions, all that. Uh, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Arma because last week, Mad Lions tweeted out this from the Mad Lions English account. They said, Arma renewed the two-time LEC champion for two more years, hashtag go mad. This was August 4th. So like I said, this is about a week ago, seven, eight days, depending on when you're watching this video. And yeah, kind of a big deal. Arma was set to be a free agent in this coming off season. And now he's going to be signed for two more years for Mad Lions. Obviously, um, part of this, uh, when we look at the stats, is due to the fact that I think over the last year, obviously Arma was, was good last year. They won the back-to-back -back titles. He wasn't insane internationally or anything like that. He was actually probably not very good internationally. Um, and he wasn't always super impressive for Mad Lions. You know, he was kind of seen as the weak point of the team when you had El Yoya, who's a beast. You had Humanoid, who's a beast last year. You had Kaiser and Karzi, who were super, super good. You had Arma as serviceable and, and an upgrade over Arome and, and overall pretty solid. But again, I do think he was a weak point of Mad Lions, but... Uh, and even in spring when Mad Lions wasn't very good this year, there was also a lot of questions about Arma. You guys have seen the meme of like, hey, Arma can play uh, Astronaut Nar and Dino Nar and Gentleman Nar and Regular Skin Nar, like Base Skin Nar and all this stuff. You know, people question his champion pool. People question how good he is that he in sometimes, does some weird stuff, loses lane sometimes. Um, but this summer split, as Mad Lions has ramped up, Arma has actually ramped up as well. Now, the question was that, with that is always, oh, when players are on a good team, are they looking good and playing good because they're on a good team, or are they actually doing well and is that helping the team do better? It's always a little bit hard to tell, especially in a team game like League of Legends, but if we look at some of these stats, we can see um, Arma actually has the second most kills of any top laner in the LEC, um, and that's while having the third least deaths. Like I said, sometimes he's been known for, you know, inting a little bit too much or having some weird random deaths or isolated deaths or whatever. Um, he doesn't have many deaths this split. Uh, in terms of assists, kind of middle of the pack, KDA, um, overall he's second, which is is good because again I don't think many people would call Arma a KDA player or anything like that um, and then the laning stats have been super super good he is second in the LEC at gold differential at 10 obviously Alfari is always going to dominate a lot of the laning stats which is just crazy how nobody can really get on his level in terms of laning like it's almost ridiculous at this point uh, for this long for him to be this good like why can other people not replicate this why can other people not do this but Arma's doing a good job good gold differential at 10 uh, good XP difference at 10 uh, third highest uh, CSD at 10. So he's doing good in the early game. He's ramping it up into the late game as well. Damage per minute, he is the fourth highest. So he's for sure one of the best top laners in the LEC right now, statistically. I think watching the games, yeah, there's been less egregiously bad moments, bad games, whatever from Arma. So I think it makes a lot of sense. But when you start looking into this, when you start reading the comments and stuff like that, that's where it starts to get funny. You know, LCS Wulu, he says, expect this guy to be an NA next year. If you know, you know. Um, there's some other people saying this commonly means that the player is going to get sold. It was good seeing you here, Arma. I'm hope, I hope I'm wrong. We'll see. And what people are talking about is, I believe this first happened a couple years ago with Perks. I, I want to say it was Perks that re-signed with G2 uh, and then ended up getting sold off to Cloud9. Uh, and then last year, we saw Inspired. He re-signed with Rogue, and then he ends up getting sold off to Evil Geniuses. And that does seem kind of weird, and it seems kind of counterintuitive. But um, one reason why this would happen is that these teams and players, they make the agreement that, hey, even if you're going to leave... We want to sign the extension with you so that we can sell you and get some money back. And Carlos has talked about doing this um, with all his G2 players and stuff. He says, hey, you're either going to re-sign with us uh, or you're going to be gone. You know, we're not going to let you play out the last year of your contract. You're not going to get to leave G2 for free. You're going to sign an extension or we're going to sell you off while you still have time on your contract. Um, so a lot of these teams and players end up doing that. So sometimes a contract extension means they really like you. You really like them. We're on board for the future. Everything's good. And sometimes it means, hey, 
we know you're probably going to leave this offseason or you've already told us you're going to leave this offseason or whatever. Uh, so let us resign you. Let us sell you off and let us get some money from one of these other teams that is, you know, throwing around these hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes millions of dollars or whatever. Like, I mean, just look at look at Reckless. His buyout was like five hundred thousand dollars to K Corp, an ERL team. So you can only assume what some of these buyouts to LEC and LCS teams are. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I don't think Arma is going to be a candidate for a guy who's going to get sold off to NA or even some other team in the LEC, but it really doesn't seem like LEC teams like selling to each other that much. It seems like if they can sell a player to the LCS, one, they're going to get more money, but then two, they don't have to directly compete against them either. So that seems to be a good thing. If they do decide to sell off Arma, obviously they need a replacement. And the one thing about top lane in the West, is I've kind of talked about this from time to time, is that Top lane in the West is overall not really that strong. It's not all that great. But this year, you actually have a couple of decent options. You know, say Mad Lines did want to sell off Arma to whichever team. Um, Cabo Shard is out there with K Corp. He's maybe a possibility. Adam is the Team BDS uh, Academy top laner. He might be an option. Um, you have Segenda with uh, Team Vitality B, and, and he's actually been good in the ERLs. Um, you know, there, there definitely are some options of some top laners that are available and coming up. But at the same time, I think Mad Lions has a good top laner in Arma. He's funny. He's popular. They like him. He, I think he fits in well with the team. I think overall he fits in with their play style and everything that they're wanting to do. So I, I, don't, I don't expect this to be one of the times that a player signs and gets sold off, but... Honestly, when Perks resigned, I didn't think that was going to be it either. And when Inspired resigned with Rogue, I definitely thought that he was sticking around. So um, we'll have to wait and see. You know, who knows for sure. Um, but we started looking at some of these other teams and stuff. Um, uh, Summit is another top laner who's going to be a free agent out there. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. If Armut was to leave, like I said, I think the teams in the LEC are pretty unlikely. But maybe Heretics would be an option. Honestly, if, if Oduwamne decides to retire or leave Rogue, uh, maybe Armut could go to Rogue, um, and maybe Mad Lions could even look to bring in Oduwamne. I, I'm not 100% sure. Fnatic could be an interesting option for Armut as well. I don't really see Excel, Astralis, SK, or BDS as good options for him. Uh, and then over in the LCS, same stuff as kind of the other teams. Um, there is a, a world where maybe the LCS uh, makes or the, the whole world. There's been talk about the whole world going to Turkish players and all minor region players, not counting as imports anywhere. And in that world, uh, Armut could maybe go to a team like 100 Thieves and, and obviously, you know, have the, the Turkish synergy with, with Closer and, and stuff like that going on. That seems maybe possible. Evil Geniuses, I don't know how long uh, Arm uh, Impact is going to play or when he's going to retire or go to military service. Uh, CLG, I think, is an interesting option for some of these guys. TSM, I, I think, should be looking for players like this to build around, but I don't really see them going for Armut. But overall, I don't know. Maybe Mad Lion's going to sell him off. The, you know, him signing the extension does not confirm anything just yet. We'll have to see how this offseason goes. Um, but if he is staying with Mad Lions, that's still a big story because, hey, Mad Lions is locked it up for two more years. And there's one less top lane free agent on the market for all the other teams. Uh, and if he does get sold off, that's going to be a big story too. Where's he going to go? Who's Mad Lion's going to get? I don't know. But either way, I want to get this information out to you guys because I think this is a big deal. So like I said, he was set to be a free agent in 2022, this coming off season. Now he's not. Sign a Mad Lions for two more years. Arma and Mad Lions get this deal done. But yeah, pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I'd appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today. Subscribe, save up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.